What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Miss Chrissy. Hey, I'm doing a video response to Dollface's new video about Barbies. Um, fakers, imitators, people who shouldn't call them Barbies, da 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 First off, let me say, Dollface, I do watch your videos. And for the most part, I love you, baby. I love your personality. I think that you are so very entertaining and... Um, you do keep it real, you know, even if people don't want to hear it. And with that being said, I hope that you could um, take someone's difference of opinion about this matter and not not really get too ugly with it. Um, but I am doing a video response to your Barbie video because I just felt the need to say something. I was like washing off my tons and tons of makeup uh, from a tutorial that I uploaded not too long ago. And I was just like... Um, looking at your video and I went on a like <laughs> I don't went on an emotional roller coaster ride and I ended the video with a big old what so <laughs> if I can just say a sentence to uh, to describe how I felt after that whole rant is just like what was the point and I I'll go a little deeper into it um it sounded like well, some parts sounded like it was a personal attack to someone that probably was, like, coming at you with some, some bullshit and, you know, saying, like, well, bitch, you call yourself a Barbie and you're not this, that, and other. But then in some parts, it was like you were bringing up facts that, like, at the end of the day, in my opinion, it really doesn't even matter to the point at hand. Basically, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of females, um, specifically African-American females, are calling themselves Barbie or identifying themselves with Barbie because not only Nicki Minaj, I mean, you may, she's, a, she's an acquired taste. I mean, real talk, just like any other artist out there, they're an acquired taste. They have their own fan base. They have their own people to kind of rock with what they're, they're about. So... You know, um, and, and she has this persona, Barbie. But how I see it is, Barbie, to me, I've never owned a Barbie doll that I know of. I know I've owned a Kenya doll, you know, before. Um, but I've never owned a Barbie doll. And I take it as Barbie has always represented independent women. Um, she's been around for a long time. No, I don't know the history and I don't think that's, that even matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even matter if you don't know what her birthday was or her, her full name. Like, who even cares? There's little kids out there and there's like teenagers out there that, that's on Barbies all of their lives that don't know that and identify themselves with Barbie. So I don't think that, that matters. But um, I think that we identify with the Barbie as well as probably Nicki Minaj's persona is because she represents female empowerment, independent. Throughout all the years that Barbie has been a a um, a doll and in all little girls and some little boys' life, she has been that representation of female independence. You know, Barbie has been a doctor, a lawyer, uh you know, she's been a big sister taking care of her little sister, Skipper. I think that's the name. I don't know. Shit. Um, she's been all these wonderful things. And, and I just think that above all, she represents somebody that was beautiful, confident, independent, and, um, you know, just courageous and, and, and all those things. If we're going to go deep into it, I don't think that it's relevant to know her birth date first middle last name her mama her, like do she got a mom and daddy name or her uncle name like if we're gonna like open that door or if you're gonna open that door it's like okay so where does the, the family lineage continue like what does it matter um and then the personal attacks about the weight come on <laughs> come on come on seriously first of all barbie was white OK, so if we're going to go with weight and shit, if we're going to like scrutinize the physicalities of what it takes to be a Barbie or call yourself a Barbie, we got to start off by you the wrong color. You're not even white. Yeah, they tried to make Barbie white, but Barbie, I mean, Barbie black, but Barbie wasn't black. They named it a, di a different doll name. They gave Barbie another name when she was black, Latina. Um, I think they had some Asian 
Barbie dolls, but they were all different names. So if you're going to try to say that, you know, somebody's not representing Barbie, right? You got to be white first. So that cuts off 95, if not 99.9% .9 of all of the women, even the ones that fit your criteria for being a Barbie. So my thing is, I think that you are dissecting the wrong parts. If you're going to dissect anything, you should dissect it all. Because if you're going to pick and choose what constitutes somebody for calling themselves a Barbie, you have to be consistent. And one of my, my biggest pet peeves is if someone makes a really strong argument about something, but they kind of pick and choose the things that kind of go with their argument just for the sake of their argument so that's why i was like no you know doll face um probably has something personal against some individuals and maybe this is her way of um venting or whatever be that as it may it's a wonderful thing like i said i hope that you are the type of individual that um can take a difference of opinion and and not take it as a personal attack i just kind of felt like that was like Eh. my thing is if we're going to dissect the history of anything let's do it a little bit more important like if you're going to wear diamonds learn the history of where those diamonds came from the lives that have been lost the children that have been forced to you know say if we're going to get deep don't get deep into a freaking action figure no she's not an action figure she's a doll she's a fucking barbie but I'm saying that to say this. First of all, no, I'm not a size two or whatever Barbie is. Oh, if she was a real life person. Um, clearly, I'm not white. That's fine. Um, I'm not tall, you know, but I'm confident, you know. I think I'm beautiful. I think that everyone who calls themselves a Barbie should think the same thing about themselves, no matter what anybody else says. Um... And I mean, and that's a wonderful thing. Carry yourself confidently. And then, you know what I'm saying? every Everything else is said is irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? I think that the word Barbie is more or less just a, just a name for the confidence. Every, you know what I'm saying? Every few years, we get another name for the same, you know, way that we want to feel about ourselves. And right now, it's Barbie. As far as Nicki Minaj... I think that the point that you were trying to make, like, wait until she gets a Grammy under her belt or some other bullshit and then be a fan of hers or something like that. And my thing is, that's stupid. If you're a fan of somebody, it matters that you were a fan of them from when they were not known to the world. That's called riding someone's coattails when they've already made it to the top that you want to start jocking them. Now, if you're really a fan of somebody's, you knew them when they were in the fucking clubs and, and you know, in the smoky bars and, and performing right there. You were at every other show before they were on the radio. That's called being a true fan if you have respect for the person that you sort of idolize. So for you to suggest... For, for the fans of Nicki Minaj to wait until she gets a Grammy to actually be open with their adoration for her, I think that's whack. That's totally whack. So I'm like, my thing is, are you only fans of people that's hot right now? And if that's, if that's the case, let that be your theory. Let that be the way you live your life. But I think that's bullshit. If somebody is a fan of someone and they, they're only local, let them be a fan of them. Let them up that person and, and build that person up. And, and you know, in closing, because I'm about to run into 10 minutes, to all the ladies out there who know that they're beautiful, confident, sexy, you don't have to idolize Nicki Minaj if she's not your cup of tea. But if you think that Barbie, Barbie is the best representation of how you feel when you're walking down and you're looking, you know, your best and you're feeling your best, go ahead and do you. You don't have to change, you know, how you are to appease somebody else because... You may be beautiful to you. You may be ugly to someone else. And that person may be atrocious to somebody else. Because trust me, they will be atrocious to someone else. And you may be beautiful to that person. So keep your head up. Stay confident. And doll face, I still love you, baby. Okay? Bye.